and we are on. I am on my way down to Hamilton to visit two schools as part of the Pre-Love Sports Gear Appeal. Fitiora School, Crawshaw School, uh, both in West Hamilton. Uh, fun fact, Crawshaw School I last visited back in 2015, so really excited to go back there a second time. The uh, car is packed as you can see behind me, uh, lots of gear, um, clothing from MacPack, shoes from Shoe Clinic, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that's been donated from schools and uh, event organizers. Uh, so yeah, really excited to be doing this finally, post-COVID, and uh, enjoy this highlights reel. Uh, thank you for having us at your wonderful school. Um, today I brought along with me Ben Uttelberg. And Ben works up in Auckland. Um, he is a part of the Lentil Foundation. And he's uh, come along today uh, to donate some sporting clothing and gear to your schools. <laughs> to thank you for the sports gear for the school. Um, it will enable all children in this to have more opportunities. Thank you on behalf of all the children. As you can see, the kids, were, especially the seniors, were goggle eyed. Yeah. They don't see that sort of stuff. <laughs> and there we have it. I'm buzzing. Always uh, visiting schools and standing amongst kids in, in the community is always special because you know you're making a, a small contribution and, and it's not me. I am on behalf of all of you that have supported, donated and so on. Um, and I think there's an important uh, sort of outcome from this as well is that I'm, we're not just impacting the schools, we're impacting the communities around them. The first school... Uh, especially for Teora, they uh, told me about a lot of the emergency housing that's um, around them, so the motels being used as that, and just within the last week they've had 15 new enrollments. Uh, so it's not just the kids, it's it's the parents, it's the immediate families around them as well that will benefit from this, um, and that's important. So I only ever have one caveat with these donations, and that is that it gets used. That's it. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to just the kids. Uh, I think the community as a whole can benefit from this. Um, and then there's also the lesson of uh, a bit of environmental stewardship. So katiakitanga uh, principles, uh, the link between uh, physical well-being, so immersing in nature, the diet that we eat, and then of course the importance of getting outside and, and playing sport and, and the link between all of them and the importance for the development of kids. And the last message I've left them all with is uh, a phrase, uh, nā tatu nā katiaki o te ao, 
Uh, we need to care for this world together, and I think that's an important message. Uh, again, thank you so much to all of our supporters, uh, our donors that uh, help fund the um, our storage unit, uh, Go Rental for the, the vehicles they provide for us, um, and of course our, our main, uh, I guess, suppliers, if that's the right word, so the likes of MacPack, Shoe Clinic, uh, I know Total Sport have contributed, uh, I know uh, the likes of... Um, uh, other uh, first tier production that do a lot of events like the Marat, uh, the uh, half marathons and so on. So uh, a lot of them, a lot of the private schools in Auckland have contributed and a lot of individuals. So again, thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon with another trip to schools very shortly. Thank you. Okay.